Jeez, it's bloody cold in here today. I'm going to get a jumper. Let's get into it. I've got to clean all this up. Make something out of it. Bloody freezing. I'm going to get a jumper. Look at this for a lifestyle. I've got the wood heap there. The garden here. Show you something. Show you something. How we're so well organised. See those two buckets there? That's my water supply. 200 litres, 200 litres. That's it, mate. Never run out of water yet. I think in America they call them snow geese or something, people who travel to suit the weather. That's what I am. Uh, that's why I never had a garden in, because I'm moving around and I go away for three months and then come back. And a normal garden just wasn't going to suit. So that's why I'm really interested in perennial vegetables. I do like flowers, sort of, they're okay, but vegetables are my thing I really like. Perennial vegetables, herbs, trees, Something I can come back to after six months or even two years and walk in the door and put your bag inside, go out to the garden, pick some vegetables for that night. That's what I'm about. That's what I want. And look at this. This is just fantastic. It's a good morning's work. A little bit of swinging the matic. I'm not cold anymore. This whole area, the whole lot here, used to be where the old boys parked their trucks and uh, cars. They spent a lot of time and money. Not so much money, but a lot of time. My dad and his brothers going to a quarry, picking up rock and putting it down so it didn't turn into a bog in the old homestead. But unfortunately, under where this stuff is, it's all road, filled up the road with It's all rocks and gravel, big, big gravel. So it's going to be a very shallow garden and I'm going to have to build it up with uh, a lot of mulch but that's okay I believe it'll work okay the thing the advantage up here the great advantage up here is the high rainfall real high rainfall like you're talking a meter or so a year or even more maybe it rains and it rains and it rains it's the surrounding bush is called a, a sub-temperate rainforest or temperate rainforest it's all ferns and like southern, like the southern part of Tasmania, because it's high, it'd be a very big rainfall. Okay, stop waffling on. I'll take any excuse to sit down and have a break. <laughs> okay, get back in with your lazy bugger. As a wise man would say, mate, it's a rake, it's not a hoe. 
Now I've got a short break. Yeah, guys, that's what happens. Battery went flat while I was filming. I got two spare batteries. One of them was flat. Bad organisation. I'm, I'm just a very slow learner. Now, I met a very, very good lady who's got a very good garden. She bought a new house and there's a good garden there, and now she's re uh, invigorating it, re putting some work into it that it hasn't had for a couple of years. Beautiful garden. What do you call it? Espelier, apple trees everything. I was talking to her and she's given me a box of assorted cuttings and seedlings which is just fantastic. Let's see what we got. She's done it beautifully with the paper and a bit of dirt, nasturtiums. Not really sure what that is. It's got a red flower on it. That's a, that's a nasturtium. That's a nasturtium. It's just one of those tricks. It's in with this mint stuff, but it's a bit tricky because the flowers there. But I know that flowers and nasturtium, so it's obviously uh, not cutting a little uh, seedling that's got thrown in when she picked it out. And this mint, I'm not sure what sort it is. It's a mint anyway. Mint, nasturtiums, and she's labelled them for me. Oh, beautiful! There's a lot of good people in the world. There's a lot of mongrels. There's a lot of people who are withdrawn from society and living in their own bubble don't talk to people, don't engage with their community. But in amongst them, there's some real gems, really genuine people who have really, as they say in Thailand, have a good heart. Number one thing about Buddhism, have a good heart is one of the three main rules, have a good heart. And it's hard to translate into English, but people do this, people who don't talk bad about people. Um, having a good heart it means a lot a lot of people have lost that having a good heart thing there's a bit more of it coming out nowadays with people having to speak to each other with COVID lockdown people are speaking to their neighbours talking to people in the parks um, and all that stuff I suppose they've all got a common interest now COVID anyway chamomile these are a plant these are a plant I first grew when I was a little kid at state, state school I don't know what age and I always thought they were marigolds for some reason. Maybe they got called marigolds when I was a kid. They're called mar anyway, I was always, always looking for them because I know they're a great companion plant. And they called them, I was always asking for marigolds, but I could never find the right thing. And I found out they're not marigolds. They are called calendulas, C-A-L-E-N-D-U-L-A. And apparently they're, they're one of a magic um, ground cover and uh, companion plants, uh, as in keeping insects away from the other, other types of plants. And as you can see, I've got heaps of them here, so I'm going to transplant them around the edges here, put them all in and see what happens. There's some other things here, I'm not quite sure. It's a herb, I can't think of the name of it. But anyway, it's a good herb. Um, I know it, but I can't think of the name. I've got a bit blank. Oh, an extra one, what's this one? It's got a name on it. D dill, there you go. I'm a dill. <laughs> a dill with some dill. <laughs> okay, dill. Beautiful. I think that's about it. But that's, isn't it? Look at this. Look. Shelly. That's uh, her name. And I just say thank you so much. Because this is just fantastic. I'm away from the shop on a bit of a budget. I don't want to spend, you can spend a couple of grand planting out a garden easily. This is just wonderful. Now over here, I've got my little uh, propagating shelter. I've got seedlings coming along, but these are ready to go on the ground. That's great. Okay, I'll waffle on again. I talk too much. 
Thế rồi Ok đi luôn Just a bit of off cut, that's not bad for putting plants in, just the right shape, like a claw, dinosaur claw. <laughs> Rainwater is king, straight from the roof, beautiful. I've just watered them in with some rain water out of my rain water tank. Experience. Okay, I'll tell you a story about water. Water is not water. I know a bloke that had a flower farm, a commercial enterprise. There was a bit of a drought on, the water supply ran out. He went and bought a big tanker, like a milk tanker of water from a local town, Colac. He took it out and he watered, put it through his system and watered all his flowers you know, to cut them and take them to Melbourne. Water them all, guess what, he come out the next day, instead of being like that, every one of them was like that. Didn't actually die, but lost a couple of weeks production, they just wilted. Water's not water, town water. It basically killed his income for three weeks. The flowers, I don't, know if they, I don't think they died, but they just all wilted and fell over. He eventually put a, um, a filtration system in and used the underground water he had and he had to filter us have a bit saline he did that because town water just knocked his plants knocked them over you know it's like a farmer coming out and all his cows are lying down and can't milk them for a week so water is not water rain water it's not just a feel good thing it's not just oh rain water's better why i don't know no it is really better it's natural for a start it is better I was only a midget once, and I started drinking rainwater. Now look at me. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Sorry, I'll cut that out. Just a bit of little uh, propagating shed. Just a wire crate with a uh, plastic around it. Little pots like that. Just stab some holes through the bottom so the water gets out. You can use almost anything. One of my main things is about recycling and reusing and not wasting. Okay, I can't get it out. I should come closer. These are the um, mosquito uh, repellent, um, repellent geranium type thing. You've got a, got a brand name, I don't know what it is. But I had these little pots, I bought them at the local opportunity shop that has strawberries in them that somebody had brought in. As soon as I put the strawberries into their bed, I went and filled them up with a bit of dirt and I just broke a heap of cuttings off a, the big bush of this that I've got and put them in there. So well, they'll root, I know they will. There's some some lavender as I another little pot left. Not the best little pot, but that'll work. These are my latest latest interest. Collards. They're called collards. They're a tree cabbage. They're a perennial green. And they can grow up to a or oh, two metres, three metres tall, and they don't die off in winter. They just keep producing a loose leaf, cabbage leaf which they reckon is quite delicious in salads or boiled or used just like you would a normal cabbage in all the other dishes. So I've got Georgian Southern Collards and Champion Collards. I think one's a purple leaf and one's a green leaf. I had to buy them on eBay. I've been looking for years for them, couldn't get them in Australia, but now I have. So I'm waiting to see how they go. Really happy with that. I haven't planted out these ones yet. I think I'll put some chilies, some chilies and stuff just stuff that grows quick and of course I'll have to go and buy I don't have to but I'm going to have because I'm a bit late I'm going to buy some seedlings from the 
uh, Bunnings and those places. And I've got to buy fruit trees too. So, there you go. That's me propagating shed. <laughs> that's a bit pretentious to call it a propagating shed, but that's what I call it. Okay. I've got to put these pegs on because the wind's a bit ferocious up here. It starts swinging around, blowing that board, flapping in the breeze. It's, you wouldn't believe it, it does. She's uh, very windy. This is my project the other day when I cut back the blackberries and I put my little strawberry patch in. Look out, that board's been moved there. Something's been here. Something's been here poking around. Wombat, something hasn't eaten the plants. Hopefully all the ground under the blackberries will get a ground cover of nasturtiums to keep the weeds down and the can candulas. Okay, let's go and plant out these other little herbs. Uh, something I found out in the past, the most important thing is get them in the ground, um, get them growing. You can always transplant them and shift them and rearrange things which is, because it's an ongoing thing, a garden, it goes for years. So I'll just get them in and water them in and get them planted and get them growing. That's about me for today. Going inside, have a cup of tea. I've got to rake up all that rubbish out there. And uh, I've got to put more edgings around there. I've got to get into those other blackberries up there. And I've got the other side over the back here where my strawberries are. Over the back there where my strawberries are. I've got to plant that out with some sort of stuff too. So I've got to get seedlings. I've got to go, so keep collecting and collecting and collecting plants to get them in the ground. And I'm also going to build a little rustic fence along here to keep the not so determined wombats out because if anybody knows wombats, they'll get in, they'll get in through a chain link fence if they're determined. Maybe I can put a little electric wire around or something. Anyway, that's another story for another day. Catch you folks, enjoy your life. Bye. Yeah, somebody said, what are you doing? What is, what's, what's your theme of your videos? I said, I don't know. I'm just filming stuff and try and make little videos of life in uh, whatever year it is. 2020. I love looking back at the old photos and the old cars. Now I can look back at the Monaros and GTs and things like that in Australia, the early cars. But I never took a lot of photos. I just like the history stuff. Shower every day, cooking. Never run out of water. That's fantastic. I like doing videos, and I like travelling around, and I like noticing things and recording things. Join me next week for one of my better videos, I believe, a walk in the park. A walk through Tarabolga National Park.